Hi, I'm Debbie. Today I have some ideas to give your baby a head start building fine motor skills. Fine motor skills are those which require coordinated movement of small muscles such as those in the hand, fingers, and wrists. It is hand-eye coordination and fine motor control that will eventually enable your child to write, use scissors, and tie shoes. As for this first year of your baby's life, fine motor milestones include transferring objects from one hand to the other, voluntarily releasing objects, and developing a pincer grasp. A child's muscle control and coordination develop from the top down and from the inside to the outside of their body so that the large muscles of the arms, legs, and torso develop first and then support the advancement of the small muscles. Because gross motor skills are foundational to fine motor skills and the two are highly interdependent on each other, the best way to support your baby's fine motor progress is to encourage a variety of play-based movement activities that build strength in the upper body and core muscles. The floor is your child's first and best playground. Remove unsafe objects from the area, lay out a blanket and a few toys, and allow your baby to move freely while playing. If you play with your baby, he or she will play longer and develop better play skills. Playing ball with your baby is an excellent way to help them develop power, coordination, and control skills all at the same time. So is playing with blocks. A container to drop the blocks in, um, provides the opportunity to practice that object release skill. Getting back to one of the other first year milestones, a pincer grasp is the ability to hold something between the thumb and forefinger. Children usually attain this ability between nine and 12 months. It allows them to feed themselves and lays the foundation for a good pencil grip. Before babies can achieve a pincer grasps, a certain reflex must go away. Babies are born with a set of primitive reflexes that help them survive the first few months of life. Once they've served their purpose, these reflexes get released through physical play and movement, allowing babies to develop more complex movement patterns. This is the case with the grasp reflex, which triggers newborns to suck, curl their toes when stimulated, and grab on with seemingly super strength. The grasp reflex is released over time by touching, holding, and playing with objects. You can help release the reflex by playing with your baby's hands and feet and providing an opportunity for your baby to touch a variety of textures. Here is a tickle rhyme that you can do that not only builds language skills, but promotes that transition from grasp reflex to more voluntary hand movements. It's called, These Are Baby's Fingers. These are baby's fingers. These are baby's toes. This is baby's belly button. Round and round it goes. You can personalize it by changing the baby to your child's name. And you can also touch baby with different textured items that will provide a different sensory experience. Once the reflex is released, the pincer grasp can emerge and your baby will learn to use their fingers for all sorts of things. And it all starts with movement and play. I will see you next time.